T-shirts, pants, and shoes are present in the daily lives of millions of people worldwide. Textile production has increased dramatically in recent decades due to the wide range of garments that are immersed and entrenched in trends, collections, and new fashion concepts. Concurrently, the use of synthetic fibers derived from fossil fuels, such as polyester and nylon, has increased. This mode of production has resulted in a chain reaction characterized by the vertical disintegration of raw materials and global product dispersion, resulting in a linear economic model. Products are used and discarded. But how does this relate to the secondhand clothing industry? The concept of a circular economy has been promoted and reinforced globally in recent years. Thanks to the efforts of environmental and social organizations, private entities, and even governments, this new production model aims to extend the useful life of textile products through reuse and repair, as well as to recycle materials that have reached the end of their useful life. Garson and Shaw's mission is to promote responsible consumption and the growth of a circular economy a business model that makes us rethink how we produce and consume goods and services in the world. That is how the secondhand clothing industry establishes itself as a valuable ally. It is estimated that 15% of discarded clothing and textiles in the United States are collected for reuse, recycling, or downcycling, with the remainder being sent to landfills or incineration. Only about a fifth of clothing is reused or recycled globally and less than half of that goes into the secondhand clothing market. This represents a massive waste of economic and material resources. The transition to a circular economy is critical for reducing the industry's excessive consumption of natural resources, while also creating domestic and sustainable resources, growth, and jobs, all of which contribute to greater economic prosperity in each country involved. We all know that the estimation of unwanted clothing that still ends in the landfills in the U.S. is more than 70%. So we need to encourage people to donate more and help people in other countries to dress. I think jobs are created starting in the country of origin by hiring truck drivers, employees in, in warehouses, creators of big machines, people loading containers, everyday person involved in, in, in the, the logistics, etc. In a destination, a huge amount of jobs are created. Since the goods are right to the port, many people are involved in the process of unloading containers and sending in the goods into our warehouses. Once in, in our warehouse, in order to have a cons consistent and secure quality, we make all the process in a manual way, which gives us the opportunity to create more jobs for the community. From our production up to our stores, we are creating 1,200 jobs in our community. Nosotros conocemos a varias personas donde el esposo trabaja y la esposa eh, hemos decidido poner un, un negocio, entonces eh, vienen y compran una paca o compran juguete y empiezan a vender, entonces ya tienen dos ingresos en el hogar. Y en otros casos también ocurre de que lo toman también como ya un negocio que tienen que hacer crecer porque tiene que salir adelante la familia, ¿verdad? Incluso conocemos personas que hasta ya son segunda y tercera generación que han iniciado y ya los hijos han estado en el negocio. Incluso tenemos compañeros que sus papás eh, trabajaban en esto y entonces nosotros nos damos cuenta de cómo ha sido una gran bendición. En este momento también mucha gente se beneficia de eso, no solamente para vestirse, sino también para ayudar y hacer buenas obras. Como vemos aquí en Guatemala, conocemos gente que compra ropa y se la lleva a otras personas que también la necesitan.
Yo quisiera que muchos guatemaltecos y muchas personas alrededor de mí pudieran darse cuenta que estamos no a un negocio a futuro, un negocio que ya es presente. Ahora tenemos la bendición de poder reciclar. Entonces informémonos de las empresas que en este momento están comprando todo lo que queda y cómo lo están transformando en beneficio para el país, no solo dando trabajo, cuidando el medio ambiente. Yo quisiera pedirles que todos nos pudiéramos unir porque somos una familia y que mucha gente, no solo en Guatemala, sino alrededor del mundo, se puedan beneficiar. Pues tengo 27 años de, de trabajar en la paca. Siempre ha sido pues mi trabajo toda la vida en la paca. Con eso crié a mis hijos. Tengo dos hijos y soy madre soltera. Y ha sido para mí pues una bendición ¿verdad? de ese trabajo. He puesto más negocios, pero después vuelvo a la paca otra vez. He estado también en local y he estado en tarima. Tarima le llaman esas que están en la calle, va. Le llamamos saldo, lo que ya no venden en un local. Yo elijo la ropa, yo sé lo que la gente busca más. Zapatos, de todo, disfraces, tengo de todo. Nuestro trabajo inicia desde el momento que se descarga el contenedor en el puerto. Mandamos a nuestros conductores a recoger estos contenedores, los mueven del puerto acá a la planta y tenemos el área de descarga donde se descarga toda la ropa. Luego pues inicia nuestro proceso productivo, hacemos un trabajo de clasificación, de dar el grado a la ropa, el grado a la ropa se lo damos pues, poniéndole el precio, luego se empaca, se crean los packing list o las listas de empaque. Este producto se vuelve a meter a camiones y lo enviamos a las tiendas y en nuestras tiendas es vendido por nuestro personal, los clientes de Mala, Honduras y El Salvador. El personal que trabaja con nosotros en los tres países es de 5.300 personas. Te hablo de la gente que está en nuestras planillas, la gente que nosotros tenemos registrada en el Seguro Social y trabaja profesionalmente las horas que, que manda la ley. Claro, están todos los trabajos indirectos que empiezan en Estados Unidos, en la gente que, que trabaja en la industria allá, eh, recogiendo la ropa, empacándola, cargándola a contenedores. Y también acá está pues, la gente que nos da eh, servicios, todos los insumos que nosotros necesitamos para el proceso productivo. También, que creo que es en la parte donde más clientes tenemos, son las personas que llegan a comprar nuestros productos de segunda mano para revenderlos. Yo te pudiera decir sin ningún problema que tenemos unos 1.300 revendedores que viven a comprar en las tiendas de Minapaca para revender sus starts with the partnership. So we partner with a site host and that could be anywhere from a school, a religious organization, uh, or any local business. At that point then we do place one of our tree machines uh, with of course their permission and then it begins to collect and as it begins to collect more and more we generate a frequency that fits that uh, location. And every location is a little bit different There's different frequencies for everything, but you know we want to make sure that it collects at least half of the bin's capacity before we service it, but no more than three quarters, because of course we don't want it to be overflown because that's bad for the site host image and for ours. At that point, uh, we do again collect on a specific frequent uh, basis. Drivers go with our branded trucks and we unload everything within the bin and outside of the bin again to uphold that image. Once it's back here, uh, we then offload the, the truck and we do our first soft sort uh, to make sure to remove all of the uh, actual trash and contaminated uh, clothes, uh, whether it be wet or just completely contaminated or unusable. And then from there on, uh, it's staged until it can be processed. Clothes are processed and fails 
shoes uh, are processed into CAPSEX as well as miscellaneous. At that point when we process it, kind of the same deal, uh, we do another soft sort to make sure there's nothing missed because uh, we want to make sure that nothing that is either wet or contaminated goes into those finished products. Once we do create that bale or cap sack, it is then loaded into a container and it could take anywhere from three to four weeks to reach its final destination. We can see that the path of a used garment from collection to reuse in a new location generates a fairly extensive and significant employment chain for the beneficiary communities. The secondhand clothing industry is unquestionably an important component of textile recycling that promotes a circular economic model because it keeps the already made products in a cycle of constant reuse. The ultimate goal of the secondhand clothing industry is to keep clothing out of landfills and support an economy that preserves the added value of materials while reducing waste to the greatest extent possible. Secondhand clothing can be sorted and graded according to customer needs or preferences before being exported to other countries. Customers want high quality, reusable and resellable clothing. In the event that the clothing is not of the expected quality, it is often shipped to the other global markets for resale to be reused or recycled into new fibers. This is a responsible production and consumption model that, in addition to being environmentally conscious, contributes to the economic development of the various countries involved in this industry. It aids small businesses, entire families, and even the final consumer in their journey out of poverty. Podemos conseguir ropa de buena calidad, tanto para mi familia como para amigos también, ¿verdad? Y poder eh, ayudar con la economía de mi hogar. Un gran, gran ahorro para nosotros. Por, por la falta que nos hace, pues, el, el dinero, ¿ah? ¿eh? Que siempre hace falta comprar, comprar ropita. Y aquí conseguimos buena ropa y barata. To go into a little bit more detail, uh, it does create a lot of job opportunity as well. Um, you know, we hire drivers to, of course, do our collection, receivers who re, uh, receive all the clothes from the trucks, to the warehouse staff who processes everything through cap sacks of miscellaneous, cap sacks of shoes, and then, of course, even the bales of clothes. And then, of course, the uh, territory managers as well. Uh, the ones that go out and find the different businesses, schools, and religious organizations that we can partner with. Nuestros clientes revendedores, eh, pues es algo que nosotros como empresa hemos trabajado socialmente, porque a través de la ropa eh, nosotros le proveemos a estos revendedores y ellos tienen puntos de venta en sus localidades y pues dan un sustento para su familia. Nosotros manejamos saldos, no estamos desechándolo a ningún vertedero, eh, ni tampoco basureros, ni nada. Estamos en pro de no tener desecho o basura en específico, ¿verdad? Y eh, uno de los beneficios que yo sí le veo bastante interesante para ya sean gobiernos o entidades gubernamentales que necesitan dar las autorizaciones es que su población en específico se va a beneficiar de estos productos porque muchos en algún momento, y eso se hablando en todos los países latinoamericanos quizá no tenemos la capacidad adquisitiva económica para adquirir un producto con una calidad o una marca en específico, pero sí tenemos el deseo. A la hora de que esto se aperture, pues le va a dar una, una mejor, un mejor estilo de vida. Todo el mundo pues, conoce de marcas, porque todo el mundo está pendiente de las marcas. Y tener una facilidad como esta sería un excelente beneficio para que lo puedan abrir. Humanity has needs. Uh, has the need of food consumption. There is the essential need for dress and the use clothing 
has come to fulfill that necessity in this part of the world uh, where there is a high presence of poverty. Therefore, the use of the industry should be more aware and donate more, much more. Not only because it's good for the environment, but also because it's good for people with scarce resources that simply cannot afford to buy a new garment. So let's help them to wear with the Estoy súper contento con el trabajo que estoy haciendo y descubriendo nuevas cosas uh, con la compañía y dando lo mejor de mí para agarrar nuevos clientes y para seguir el proceso para adelante. Pienso que es una muy buena idea para personas necesitadas porque siempre necesitamos algunas cosas para ayudar a más personas. Para mí, este, personalmente, es una cosa bonita dar a esa segunda oportunidad para más gente. Obviously, it gives them an opportunity for employment. We strive to give to countries who are in need, so they know that um, they're working for a good cause. Um, there's many benefits for secondhand clothing, in addition to most likely a cheaper price that somebody may purchase, uh, but there's a lot of environmental benefits as well. Um, as our population is increasing, we have the need for um, more clothing. Quality of clothes, I feel, have a is constantly improving, uh, so the clothes last a little bit longer, which unfortunately lasts a little bit longer in the landfills. They're not biodegradable. Uh, they're constantly um, an issue. Mainly because it's easier and more effective to buy them because you don't have to spend the full price for a new item. So. Plus you can get things that are like you can't even find in stores anymore. Like a, people come in to find items that they're like surprised it's actually here. They're looking for unique things. I like looking through the items when I'm shopping too because it's like wow what's this? more customers. I believe that is we provide a good merchandise with good products, nice and clean. Uh, we organize it by colors. It makes easy for customer to sort it. It's, it makes easy for employee also to place the items. So which is customers also they love that and we have nice good feedback from them and then the cell is very good too. Some people they are coming here to look for a good product, which is like a brand, brand name Gucci, um, Prada, Louis Vuitton, and so many things. So we do sell good products here and people come here looking for that. It is very nice environment around here. So far I have not here any things, which is good, nice place to work and nice place to shop. So for us and for our customers, it is a safe place so far I see. Nosotros eh, tratamos de manejar eh, una calidad de mercadería eh, a, un costo, a un precio bastante cómodo para nosotros como 
como empresa eh, ayudar a muchas personas también. En muchas ocasiones este, hay personas que están sin trabajo y pues acuden con nosotros y pues eh, aquí les brindamos nosotros la ayuda también. Significa variedad de encontrar mucha ropa, distintos estilos también y más que todo ahorrar, ¿verdad? The challenges remain significant, but this is what the secondhand clothing industry must rely on, not only to remain a key player in the circulation and consumption of textiles that promote the circular economy and allow for greater conservation of natural resources, but also to provide a genuine opportunity for economic benefit for all, not only for private entities, charities, or governments, but for all people who benefit in various ways from clothing reuse and recycling. For every 1,000 tons of secondhand clothes destined for reuse, approximately 70 jobs are generated. We as a society must encourage and support the reuse of clothing, resulting in conscious, responsible, and environmentally friendly consumption for all. <laughs>